First Defense Weather is sponsored by 42 Degrees and Sunny. Smoking deals on smoking accessories. Learn more at 42DegreesAndSunny.com. That's 42DegreesAndSunny.com. Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. And a happy Friday to you. And man, the rain that we had over the past couple of uh, days has been well needed. You can bet your blank we needed this. Fill in the blank with the word of your choice. But since the beginning of this week on Sunday, we gauged 2.17 inches of rainfall at the Jamestown Airport. Now for the season, for fall, we're still running below average for rainfall. 2.41 inches is still our rainfall deficit. And the majority of this came because of September. Now in September, our rainfall should be over 4 inches for the month. We only gauged around 1 and three quarter inches of rain throughout the entire month. So that's where a lot of this deficit came from was throughout the month of September. But we're going to see if we can add a little bit more to that, uh, obviously, before fall ends. Now, in a surprising move, NOAA updated the drought monitor yesterday, as we told you. They actually didn't change our drought status across uh, western New York. We still have this severe level drought here across portions of Cat County, a moderate drought, and then the condition, which is a yellow shade here. So a surprising move. They didn't actually kind of move this back as I thought they were going to, but uh, we're going to add a little bit more rain here and we'll obviously see what happens here before the end of fall. So uh, the uh, weather headlines here, I had to break out the emojis because I just didn't know what else to say. It's going to be sunny today and uh, you know, the uh, heart emoji, 100% hot. That's going to be the weather story for today. Rain returns tonight through Saturday morning. We're going to be back to chilly air over the weekend and we could see our first snowflakes of the season come early next week. That's not a guarantee, but it's something we are keeping an eye on as we go into next week. So on the computer modeling shows you nothing through the afternoon. Today is abnormally warm. I mean, we're talking temperatures 15 to 20 degrees above average to where they should be. So get out and enjoy the sunshine. Now tonight, a cold front crosses the region. This line of showers and possibly a couple thunderstorms is associated with that front. As the front moves its way out to the east, we're going to see a few lingering showers tomorrow morning. They clear out for the afternoon, partly to mostly cloudy, but temperatures held down with the presence of the frontal passage into the 40s. And we're going to stay in the 40s through the day on Sunday, but Sunday should be mainly dry though, but chilly. So the forecast for the afternoon. I don't know what else to say. It's going to be great. Just look outdoors. That's going to be your weather. 73 to 80. This is way above average to where we should be. And it's going to be breezy this afternoon with a south wind averaging 9 to 18 miles per hour. Tonight, showers develop with the presence of the front. A few rumbles, maybe a couple thunderstorms possible. And it turns even more windier overnight, but cooler. 40 in the deepest valleys, 46 at the Lake Erie shoreline with a south wind averaging 15 to 30. Some wind gusts could be near 40 miles per hour at times. Take a look at the uh, 42 degrees and sunny seven day, 45 tomorrow. Best chance of rain is going to be in the morning. Then it clears out in the afternoon. The sun returns on uh, Sunday, but it's not going to help warm us up 48. We're back up to 50 on Monday. Better chance of rain on that day. Now, Tuesday, the best chance for any snowflakes would be in the morning on Tuesday, but that's not guaranteed at this point. 47 should be our high. And then we're back into the lower 50s, both Wednesday and Thursday, with only a small chance for a shower on Thursday.